Hello friends, this is the spiritual counselor who is excited to be with us to bring to us the revelatory aspect of spirituality. It's been a long time we had a session here and I I want to appreciate all those who have been subscribing even in our in absentia of us, those who have been following us on Instagram at spiritual counselor. And those who follow us on different platforms, on TikToks and the rest of it. And even those who have been donating to the things we do here. I want to say thank you. This, uh, I, I, I promise to be more consistent. There are lots of people who have been writing to me and saying, we have to come back on YouTube. We have to come back. And I think that um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that um, recently there have been lots of information out there for the awakening of our consciousness for people who have had this desire to have a deeper understanding of themselves beyond the things we do on instagram and and a couple of persons have been they've been doing the very genuine ones too they've been trying to contribute to the understanding to the to the message of spirituality wherein we wish to bring people to the understanding of themselves of who they are spiritually. And so we want to begin a season, a, a series. It's, it's, it's going to be a podcast about how to tap into the spiritual element within us, within our bloodline. I know that in different spiritual affiliation, different places, so too many persons, sometimes when we do consultations, so you hear some people who come for consultation saying to you that they have been told that they, their problems are from their father's house, they are from their mother's house, they are from their ancestry, they are from their foundation. There are too many conversations and narrative that has majorly projected the negativity of where we come from, particularly those of us who are Africans. And it seemed to be that there is no good thing. The Bible said, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? It appears like there is no good thing that is connected to our bloodline. But I wish to differ from that narrative. And so this is the essence of this podcast. It's going to be different episodes as God will permit us. Wherein we'll be taking dif the understanding, different elements the different elements connected to our bloodlines connected to our family there are many persons some of them the element connected to them is connected to the spiritual element of water in some families it could be the spiritual element of fire in some in some family it could be the, that of air it could be that of earth on instagram one time we did a live session on instagram and we talked about the different spiritual families connected to the spiritual element of water itself that you are connected to the spiritual family of water does not mean that you are associated to every kind of water. Just like you cannot see all kinds of fishes in every water volume or every water bodies. We need to have this understanding. And so people have always been emphasizing the negativity of our bloodline. The things your great grandfather did that is affecting you. The thing that your father did that is stopping you. The thing that your great grand auntie did that is... No one has really talked about the generational blessings connected to our bloodline. Is it that everyone within our progenitor, within our bloodline, have always been involved in negativity? This is the conversation we want to have. And in the next series of this episode, we want to explore, to understand... Because we know that if people were to be involved, if people had were involved in evil, there are also persons who were involved in good. There are also, if, 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 if there is negativity within our bloodline, there is also positivity. The Bible said there are 600 prophets in Israel that have not bowed their heads to bow. We need to begin to explore this conversation. What, how can we tap into the positive side of our families? Beginning from, there are many, there are many aspects of our, of the, of, of our family bloodline. There are, different, there are many aspects of our bloodline. But we want to start first with the elemental side of it. The element. Because one of the fundamental things that has affected us so far has been the, the elemental aspect of our life. This is the fundamental when people are having issues in their life, 
Beyond that, that is why many people do different kinds of spiritual work. It appears as if there are no results. Why? Because the element, the element, the element, if you are connected to the element of water and you have gone to do a spiritual work that they have to do with the fabrications of things using the earth element, you cannot see answer. You can't see result. These are the conversations that we want to begin to have in the next season, seasons of these episodes. And so I want to congratulate all, some of us and all those who will be partaking in this journey, who will be sojourning with us. And I want to say to you that you should open your mind because there are many of us who have had dreams, seen ourselves in different environments. But we can't understand what is happening. Many a times we are scared of narrating some of these revelations to people. Sometimes some people belong to different spiritual organizations or churches or denominations. And, 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 and by virtue of the, the doctrines of where you are affiliated to, you are scared. A, a fellow had written to me sometime and had come to do a consultation. And she began to tell me wherein, where she sleeps, she sees herself. A part of her is like it's transforming into something like fish. But it's still not fish. But she, could, she realized that she can swim very well. She can go, she sees herself in the deepest aspect of water. But in real life, she cannot swim. And she said, the first day she tried to mention it in a Sunday school, they said, you say no more, you are in mommy water. So these conversations have wearied her so, and she wants to understand, is it truly that she's connected to the marine war? She is someone who is very faithful in the things of God. How come this thing? And so she's weary, she wants to understand. If you belong to such family, I want you to sojourn with us in this episode.